All right, in the final video, we're going to first look at the financial statements, and then we'll conduct some analysis. First, I need to make one quick change on the capital expenditures tab. I put 1,000 here, and this should actually be 10,000. So let's go ahead and enter the last E assumptions on the uh, balance sheet, which are the uh, starting balances. And just to keep this simple, we'll just say that we start off with uh, $500,000 in cash. And that'll raise the current assets as well as the equity. And so that one of the most important things that you need to take note of is that whether the balance sheet balances. That is the total assets equals the total liabilities and equity. And I have a checksum here that indicates whether that's the case, that is whether it balances. So if, for example, I had entered only, let's say, 450000 instead of 500000 for the equity, you can see that it'll throw off the entire balance sheet. All right, so let's go ahead and jump back over to the income statement. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom line here, the net income. As you can tell, it doesn't look the greatest. You can also see the year-over-year -year percentage change right here. And right now, we'll probably need to go back and perhaps make some changes to the expenses or see if we made accurate assumptions for the revenue. But first, let's take a quick look at the cash flow statement. And you can see that we'll go into the red in year two which means we won't be able to pay our short-term liabilities and eventually our long-term liabilities will catch up and we'll go under. So obviously that's not good. So with that, let's say that we took a look at our market analysis again and determined that we can probably penetrate another market starting in the second year. So let me go ahead and update the growth in the second year for all the scenarios. So I will jump back up to the assumptions tab Scroll back up here. So let me go ahead and change this to 90%. And I'll do that for the optimistic. And the pessimistic scenario as well. And then if we jump back to the summary tab here, we can quickly see how that change affect the bottom line as well as cash flow. So you can see our net income here looks a little bit better. And let's take a look at the cash flow, which is the cash on hand here. And we still go into the red for the cash on hand in the second year. So let's take a look at our expenses to see where we could possibly make cuts. Go ahead and jump over to the expenses tab. And if we take a look at the graph here as well as the information here, we can see that employee costs are much higher than the re remaining costs. And let's see where we can possibly make some, some cuts. First, let's go ahead and drop the owner's salary, meaning your salary for the first two years. And let's totally cut the office manager for the first year since we already have somebody part-time. And let's also go ahead and drop the first year salaries for all full-time employees. 65, 65,000. Drop this to 40. And then under the expenses tab, let's also go ahead and drop accounting for the first year. We can probably handle that on our own. So going back to the uh, summary tab here, you can see that we're still operating under a loss for the first four years. 
And as far as the uh, cash flow issues, we definitely got that fixed. And with that much cash on hand, we can probably increase marketing, which should have a positive effect on the bottom line. But let's go ahead and stop with the minor tweaks for now. So finally, I want to show you quickly how to conduct scenario and sensitivity analysis. So going back to the assumptions tab, we can test out different scenarios with the, the drop down. So let's check the uh, summary here real quick. So if you take a mental note of the numbers here, so we can take a look at 2017, which is 373 and net income. Going back to the assumptions tab, let's go ahead and change this to the optimistic scenario. Hop back over to the summary tab, and we can see that jumped up about $20,000. And then let's take a look at the pessimistic tab. Hop back over to summary, and you can see it dropped by about $20,000. So there's not really too much difference on the bottom line from the base scenario. So now to conduct sensitivity analysis, you can change a single variable on the assumptions tab to see how it affects the bottom line. For example, let's say churn is just much too high in the rate that some of our competitors have. So you want to go ahead and drop the churn rate and then check the summary tab to see just how much of an effect that had. Let's just go ahead and drop this to 5, 4, 4, 3, and 3. and drop that down. Let me go ahead and change this back to the uh, base scenario. If we jump back to the summary tab, you can see that didn't have that much difference on the bottom line. Anyhow, you want to continually check your assumptions. Once you have your base numbers set for each scenario, you can continue to tweak your model with any additional research you under uncover. Eventually, you'll be able to see if your business is worth investing in. And remember, things change, especially in the early years. Take these numbers for what they are, just projections. As your business progresses, update your model. See where you should be investing time in and where you should try to cut costs. Let this model, which is essentially a mathematical representation of your business strategy, guide you. All right, well, that's all for now. Thanks again for watching.